Day number 24. Day number five in the Smokies. I've already had fog and rain and still dealing with ice and snow. Maybe I am crazy. Words cannot describe how spectacular this forest is here this morning, even with the snow. And that's not slush down there. That's actually ice, frozen footprints from yesterday. I'd love to keep walking and rolling the camera, but I'm going to slip slide away. But uh, I just can't get over how beautiful this forest is. I'm, I'm speechless. I've never seen anything like this in my life. So dense, so many blowdowns. Uh, but someone's been coming through here keeping the trail clear. We've had some blowdowns that would have obstructed us, but I, you know, that's happening every day, especially with the weather conditions up here. But yesterday we had an amazing day, and my goodness, it might have been 60 yesterday. But this is the Smokies. So uh, I'm gonna keep pushing north. We had a full house at the shelter last night. Boy, it was a lot of fun. We had uh, the shelter was supposed to hold, I believe, 12, and I think we had like 14 stacked in there. And when I woke up this morning, there were tents everywhere outside. There was bodies on the floor. Um, I think everybody's trying to get out of the Smokies, but uh, you know, with views like this, you know, it is real slow trekking through here, and it, it is dangerous. I will admit that, but I'm absolutely having the time of my life right now. I just. I, I can't even describe this out here. It's just so amazing. And the winds died down for a moment. I can't believe that. So we're supposed to have some more rain on the way later today. As for me, I'm just freestyling. There's two shelters between here and the exit of the Smoky Mountains. I think what would take me out of here would be 17 miles. I did 20.6 yesterday, true trail miles, another half mile um, from the shelter off trail. And they beat me up pretty good. But I wanted to see what I had. Um, with these rickety old knees so I'm real happy with yesterday and I don't know if I'm gonna push 17 today I want to take care of myself kind of roll it back a little bit so I just I'm so sorry I mean I've shared so many spectacular views of the valleys and stuff like this but I don't know if you can see it in the distance the fog starting to blow in through there it's just I have no words what a pleasant surprise on a dreary morning And this, ladies and gentlemen, is why they call it the Smoky Mountains. Take a look at this, everybody. I'm literally walking on the very tip top of the mountain. You see this so often here in the Smokies. Sorry about the wind. It's just, you feel like you're absolutely on top of the world. A lot of people at the shelter, like I said last night, it was over, just completely overrun. A uh, great group of people though. We were squeezing in as many people as we could. Everybody helping each other. Cold fridge and night. Everybody had a real tough hike. Coming up to Tri Corner Knob Shelter. But as far as the Smokies go, I'm gonna be honest with you. Although I'm trying to make some miles, I'm really in no hurry to get out of here. This is the fifth day I've been in the Smokies. And the only time I even heard or had a chance to see a vehicle or hear anything from the road or anything man-made was down at Newfound Gap and maybe an occasional airplane. Talk about solitude being out here. 
to me, I, I wish the entire AT was, was more of this. Um, but it was funny to overhear people saying last night, I want to be near more roads and this and that and have a chance to get this and that. To me, this is what it's all about out here. It's just so beautiful. It's making that connection with nature. It's just really had a lot of time to sort things out out here. It's one thing for sure, I'm never going to forget the Smokies. And an image appeared on a tree simply to antagonize me on an uphill. Making our descent out of the Smokies. Sight set on finishing this up within five days versus the six and a half days we had originally planned. So, still not sure how the day is going to play out. Still have some other options. But the target right now is Standing Bear Hostel, which is pretty much your only option when you come out of the Smokies. Beginning to make our final descent out of the Smokies. And you gotta be careful to the very end. Sadly, Random had a real bad slip a couple hours ago right in front of me. Well, thank goodness he's okay. But uh, starting to reflect back on some of my favorite sites. And if I had to pick one, out of the entire park, although everything was spectacular. I would have to say Rocky Top was my favorite view, even over Klingman's Dome. I don't know with Klingman's Dome, if it was simply the fact that it was man-made, it was a spectacular view. Of course, it was the uh, highest point on the Appalachian Trail. Of course, that means everything's downhill from from here to Katahdin, haha. -ha. But Rocky Top will be my favorite site. That was that was a spiritual experience coming up and turning around and seeing that view on a icy, cold, frozen winter wonderland morning. Um, and of course, second in line would be the Smokies Enchanted Forest. I did not expect that. Um, I was expecting like a gnome to come running out of the woods or something like that. That was absolutely spectacular. That one camera shot that I shared there a little bit earlier, I felt like I was standing inside a, a 3D photograph. And that was, that was uh, that's when I was looking down the trail and it was full of snow and a white blaze in front of me. And that was every bit as spectacular to me with the fog blowing across the trail as any view that I've shared was awesome. Great Smoky Mountains. Getting ready to bid you farewell. I've been a lot around a lot of hikers who were counting in moments to get away from you. They couldn't wait to break free from your weather antics and the terrain. Of course, we are hiking this early in the year, but for me, it's kind of a bittersweet ending. I knew it was a challenge when I began and I had some of my own fears, but I was prepared 
for everything that you were going to throw at me. You greeted me with a smile and a beautiful sunrise, and a few short hours later, slammed me into a deep freeze that I won't soon forget. And you've granted me some solitude that I've been looking for for many, many years, just being away. from this, I don't know, sometimes insane world. But I am gonna miss you. And I appreciate the safe passage. And you've challenged me well. And again, just reinforced my confidence in myself to do this. So with that, I bid you a fond farewell until we meet again. Smokies, done. Miss you, baby. I love you, sweetheart. Still on the AT, doing some bridge walking. Pigeon River. Headed to Standing Bear Hostel. Just to give you an eye where we're at, and you'll notice the white blazes on the actual interstate markers. Still on the AT, pavement style. Made in the Standing Bear Hostel. It's going to give me, I believe it was 18 miles for the day. I'm at mile 241.5. Um, two tough days back to back. Um, looking forward to tomorrow, rolling those miles back a bit and give myself a chance to recover. Uh, Smokies were absolutely spectacular. Um, came out of the woods, stepped down onto uh, the power lines and Interstate 40, back into civilization. And... I must admit that was kind of a disappointment. So uh, went ahead and grabbed, grabbed a shower, all cleaned up, ready to get some good dinner here tonight and uh, get up and do it again tomorrow. So uh, thank you so much, everybody, for walking with me. Um, headed towards Hot Springs right now. Should be there in about two and a half days. Again, we're going to roll our mouths back just a little bit, kind of take it easy. And uh, so the next goal was Hot Springs. So uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Take care.